Two displacement vectors have magnitudes of 5 meters and 7 meters, respectively. When these two vectors are added, the magnitude of the sum, A, is 2 meters, B, could be as small as 2 meters or as large as 12 meters, C, is 12 meters, or D, is larger than 12 meters. So if we have our vector, say, this one is 5 meters, and can be oriented in any possible direction, and then we also have a red vector here, which is 7 meters, which can also be oriented in any direction. We need to know the possibility of all the sums. But keep in mind, it is the magnitude of the sum. So the opposite direction doesn't make a difference. If both of these are in the opposite direction, giving you negative 12 meters, the value would still be 12 meters because we're taking the magnitude. So let's just start drawing some out. So if we do, say, 7 meters to the east, and then we do 5 meters to the west, we would have a resultant vector of 2 meters. Now, if we did 7 meters to the west and five meters to the east, we would have a resultant vector of two meters to the west, but if we take its magnitude, it's still two meters. We know that if we orient the vectors in opposite directions, they're going to subtract out the horizontal components completely, so our resultant vector is going to be its smallest as possible. Now, so this is our smallest possible value. It's going to be 2 meters in all the cases. Now we're going to deal with what will be our largest possible value. If we orient these vectors in the same direction, so 7 meters to the east and 5 meters to the east, this gives us a resultant of 12 meters. Once again, but now we do 5 meters first, then we do 7 meters we would still get a resultant of 12 meters. So here we found that our largest possible value is 2 meters, and our largest possible value is 12 meters. So knowing that, if instead one of them was, per se, oriented at some odd direction, so say we had 7 meters to the east, and then we had our 5 meters oriented off to some direction. Now, if we found the resultant value of that, this would in turn be less than 12 meters, but greater than the 2 meters, as you can clearly see here. Because 2 meters would be here, and our 12 meters would range out to here. So if this arrow is oriented any way in this direction, it's going to average between 2 meters and 12 meters. So in going through our choices, we know the magnitudes of the vectors are added. The magnitudes are not always 2 meters, so that's wrong. B says it could be as small as 2 meters or as large as 12 meters. That satisfies everything we have said here. C says the largest value, the all the values added up will give you 12 meters. But we have seen here with our smallest that we get 2 meters, so C is wrong. And D states is larger than 12 meters. Well, we've shown that the largest possible value we can get is 12 meters, so D is also wrong. Therefore, after we do a process of elimination, just a check, and we go through this again, we see B is correct. The magnitude of the vector sums could be as small as 2 meters or as large as 12 meters.